Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about uh, service bindings again. In previous video, I talked about singleton and uh, the regular bindings. So today I'm going to talk about contextual binding. This is a feature that Laravel gives you so that you can conditionally specify or inject a service implementation into specific use case, for example, controller or event listener. Let's see how it can it can work. I've already started the dev server and this is what we we saw in previous video, the logs. Let me stop the dev server for now. Then go back to the code base. What we did here in the service provider, we defined the bindings between the interface message service and uh, the implementation email message service. And this message service is used by message controller. So we can send message. What if we want to use different uh, message service invitation in different controller? Say the message controller, uh, we want to use uh, email uh, message service, where the message v2 controller want to use a different service invitation, say WhatsApp message service. So let's see what we can do. Firstly, let's create another controller called message v2 controller okay very likely we can copy this part you can see the message v2 controller already created let's copy and paste the code we need to add some import okay this is v2 literally the same thing what we are going to do is add one more root a v2 message send so message v2 controller Okay, that's it. Let's try the endpoint now. Firstly, let's hit this one message. Say, okay, I need to start a dev server. The first page, okay, let's see the log. Okay, sending message or email. How about the other one? V2 message send. And again, just to confirm, so we can see sending e message for email. Okay. Now I want to use a WhatsApp message service in the V2 controller. What can we do? In service controller, we can use a feature called contextual binding. This is what we can do in the register function. We can use app when function, say message controller needs message service give. So this is a give function. The give function need a callback or closure. In this function, we return email message service. Okay. And now we remove the bindings properties. This is how we 
specify a message controller we want to use miss service email message service for v2 controller we use whatsapp message service okay let let's try it again So this is a message send. This is a message controller. It should use email message service. So sending message about email. Now let's try V2. From the log, you can see sending message via WhatsApp. It shows us that in different controllers, we can use different imitations of the interface. In Laravel, there's a concept called contract. Contract actually is an interface with a bunch of defined methods or functions. That just like a contract defined between interface and implementation. So implementations have to implement those methods defined in the contract or the interface that looks like the contract. So that's a concept. So we don't need to spend too much time on the contract. So this is a contextual binding. It gives us the uh, feature or the ability to specify a specific or different imitation in different use case. For example, controller, event, listener, and so on in Laravel. Okay, I think that's it for today. Hope it helps. If you have any question about contextual binding, feel free to, to comment. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.